Hey guys, my name is Markiplier. And today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, drifting uh, video game in Unity. I have a demo right here. Okay, so ba so basically that's how it should work. If we open up our car controller script, I'm gonna show you how exactly the drifting works. So if we go to the drift method that we built way down here. So basically this is the drift function right here. So how exactly it works is it checks for the wheel hit sideways slip. So it checks uh, the amount of slip the wheel gets when it goes sideways. This tempo is just a float variable that uh, we have up here. It's a private float wheel spin pointer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a basically a, a, a reference variable that we built. So the way this works is it takes the wheel spin from here, right here, and it multiplies it by the amount of, of uh, drift we want, handbrake friction. I have named it as handbrake friction up here. And it's a default value of 2. We can change that, of course. So the next thing it does is that this wheel spin can go from plus to minus. But we don't want that. We want this to be a absolute value, to be a uh, always a uh, positive value. But this cannot be changed uh, when you go into a corner because it will have the same the same uh, angle. To change that, we take a uh, input from the keyboard or the or whatever we have uh, built our game uh, just for example I'm using input dot horizontal which means uh, the left and the right keys so if you multiply this with one it should go it should always give you a uh, value of one and one times this is obviously of course just this but if we do 1 plus the horizontal input, which can be from 0 to 1, and then you can multiply into this one. And if you multiply into this one, the, well, the drift angle will change. So this tempo is basically a drift angle. The drift angle we want the wheel to, to go around. And then it does some other if and else statements. So this one, for example, is, I think is for going right. If you want to add to the right when you go uh, sideways. And this one go adds to the left. And this one checks if the, the wheel, uh, the, the drift angle is not too large. If it's too large, if it's, if it goes more than, uh, one which is basically completely sideways it should change the the handbrake friction times three so this tempo in here times three it multiplies it times three but it's a uh, smooth damp so it doesn't just snap from from i say zero to to three it smoothly transitions to that and then handbrake friction is equal to tempo 
This handbrake friction controls the the sideways friction and the forward friction from the wheel colliders. So these two lines control the friction of the wheel colliders. Uh, if we go in here, we have colliders, these four colliders. So that, these two lines uh, change the, the slip and the value. It changes to these two values, this one and this one. And of course the sideways ones. And this is just the skid trail so it leaves the tire marks onto the actual uh, surface. This velocity is obviously just zero to help with the smooth damp because we we obviously don't want to snap from from uh, zero, say from zero to a value that is uh, the handbrake friction. So basically, we're we're saying the sideways friction, which is this one, which is of course equal to this one because these two are similar. So we're we're setting these two to a smooth damp, so it goes from uh, a default value to the handbrake friction. We, and if we go down here, the handbrake friction is equal to the tempo, which calculates the drift angle. And then it just sets that, the friction, to that, that uh, tempo. So after it sets that, of course, in a given time, it changes the friction of the wheel colliders. So if we hit, we, if we select a uh, rear wheel and hit play, we're going to see uh, the default values. So these are changing. And now if we hit uh, space, they all go 0.5. To help with the with the uh, drifting, and if we go too much, these values should change to the to a uh, three times of the actual value. So let's try going too fast. Yeah, it it kicks you back to the to the straight line. So this is how you build a uh, uh, drifting a, uh, function.